Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make cookie coffee or steeped coffee and French press because those brewing methods are just the same thing. It's just two different vessels. Now you can buy many different types of French presses on the market and some of them have finer filters than others. They all do the more or less the same job. It's just a matter of the amount of sediment you can get into the cup. But in my experience, you always get a little bit of sediment. The good thing about these brewing methods is that you get a lot of the oils. So you get a lot of a sort of nice viscosity and mouthfeel when you drink the coffee. As always, you have to have good ingredients in order to make this coffee taste good. So you can't just buy any coffee, you need a good one. And which one I recommend depends on what you like. So I'm going to use 70 grams per liter of water. And since we're brewing a liter, I'm using 70 grams. Now I'm going to grind this coffee and uh, some people like to grind quite coarsely for these methods because they don't want to have too much sediment in the cup. But in my experience it makes the coffee taste quite weak and it's hard to extract enough. So I'm going to use a filter grind, just as when you would brew one liter of filter coffee. Alright, now I'm going to get the cookie coffee kettle or the steep coffee kettle. That's been boiling on the stove top. And just to get the water temperature a little bit down, I'm gonna just take off the lid and let it stay there for maybe a minute. And while we're doing that, I can make the French press. So with the French press, I always uh, put the coffee in first. And then we tear the scale, because I'm gonna measure how much water I use. And this water is just off the boil from this water kettle and I'm going to use 1000 grams of water, which means about a liter. You can measure it before you boil, that's no problem. Just make sure all the coffee gets wet when you pour, then you don't really have to stir it. And notice that I'm using quite a big French press, so I'm not filling it up completely and that's just because the crust here, I don't want that to be too thick. So if you use an overdimensioned French press, I tend to get a better result. I'm gonna leave that for four minutes and then we'll get back to it later. For the steeped coffee or cookie coffee, we have the water already in the kettle and I pre-measured it before I boiled it. So it's one liter of water and I have 70 grams of coffee that we're just gonna pour in. Just make sure everything gets wet. All the grounds needs to be steeped equally. And then put the lid on. Four minutes later, we're gonna come back to it and stir it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now the coffee's been steeping for four minutes in both of them, more or less. Uh, so now I'm gonna finish the brew. And we do that by using two spoons. Just stir the crust. And I like to stir a couple more times just to make sure everything is extracted. And you see this kind of fine foam that's on top? A lot of people think that looks really sexy, but it tastes really bitter because it has a lot of particles in it. So I use two spoons just to skim it off, so you don't have to drink that. And also, if you're grinding too coarse, you'll have too many particles floating around on the top. That's a bad sign. You should grind a little bit finer than that. Now it's much easier to do the actual press because now that most of the grounds has fallen to the bottom, so it's much easier, there's less resistance to press. And normally I let it stay for maybe one to two minutes before I serve. And this is just because the, there's still a lot of sediment floating around in the liquid, so you want those to sort of fall to the bottom before you serve the coffee. And the same goes for the cookie coffee or steep coffee. You can just stir in the surface of the coffee and then just skim the foam off. Like that. Put the lid on. Let it stay for another minute or two to get the sediments to settle and then you can serve. Now it's been another two minutes uh, and I've waited just to get the grounds to settle to the bottom. And I'm gonna serve the coffee. And especially with these uh, cookie coffee or steep coffees, you need to pour a little bit gently, otherwise you get a lot of grounds into the cup. And this one has a little filter in the, in the spout to prevent the grounds from entering the cup. So just pour gently, so you don't see any grounds coming into the cup. 
and make sure you don't fill the cups too too full because then it takes ages for the temperature to come down and the coffee tastes really good when the temperature comes down. Wow, I love these coffees because you get this really beautiful rich mouthfeel from the oils that are still in the coffee that's not filtered out. So I really hope you enjoy it.